feel a little helpless Like what I have won't be enough I may not have everything But what I have I'll share with you Cause what real love would ask of me Is that I show real love to you Sometimes the greatest gift That someone can receive Is to know they're not alone In their greatest need yeah. This is a mission if we're up to the test It's not impossible day today. Don't believe me? Check out my block! Oh, take a look at all this hustle and bustle! These people could use some compassion. Compassion is caring enough to do something about someone else's need. But who has time for compassion when you're so busy all the time? I mean, it's the same every day. Get up, get dressed, pop dart for breakfast, school, lunch, more school, then there's homework video games, a few selfies, dinner, music practice, and bed. And then the alarm goes off and you start all over again. <sighs> it's not just you that's busy. People are busy everywhere you look. Moms and dads, shh. Business people, buy all the things. <sniffs> Servers, you have the iced tea with no lemon. You have the lemonade with no ice. You have a cup of ice with no tea and a slice of lemon, right? It can seem like there's not enough time to show compassion. But, as you'll see with Jesus in today's story, sometimes you have to make time. Pop-tart me. Yeah. <laughs> see you in a few. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, 
Inspired by the book of Mark, chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. Jesus spent time with people of every kind from every background. He answered trick challenges from important religious leaders and sincere questions from rich men. Sell everything you have. Give the money to those who are poor, then come follow me. Jesus didn't hesitate to welcome kids. Let the little children come to me. He was endlessly patient with his own friends when they argued about who should be first. The Son of Man did not come to be served. Instead, he came to serve others. Even as Jesus made his last journey to Jerusalem, he didn't let what was ahead distract him from the people he met along the way. Uh, hey Jesus, this crowd we picked up in Jericho is really slowing us down. Want to pick up the pace? But Jesus didn't try to shake off the crowds that followed him. It's Jesus. Jesus. A short way ahead, a man named Bartimaeus sat by the road on a torn and dusty mat. He stretched out his arms desperately, hoping someone would drop a few coins in his empty hand. Please. Help me. Bartimaeus was blind. There was no work he could do to earn money, so he depended on the kindness of strangers passing by. The crowd quickly surrounded him. He's right there! Look it's him! I see Jesus! I swear I, 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 swear I see him over there. Jesus? Bartimaeus had heard of Jesus. He'd heard stories of sick people who'd been healed by Jesus, and in his heart, he believed they were true. Jesus! Bartimaeus knew he couldn't let this chance slip away. Jesus! Son of David, have mercy on me. Shh, be quiet. Jesus probably doesn't have any time for you. Son of David, have mercy on me. Let it go. Jesus! Through all the noise and clamor, Jesus heard Bartimaeus' plea. It would have been easy to keep walking, to push on towards Jerusalem. But instead, Jesus stopped. Call for him. What? What's happening? Cheer up! On your feet! Bless your heart, Jesus is actually calling for you! Me? He, he heard me! Bartimaeus jumped up, tossing aside his dusty coat. He staggered towards the voice he'd heard. Hands in the crowd helped him to find his way. Jesus! What do you want me to do for you? Teacher! Teacher! I want to be able to see! Jesus smiled as he looked directly into Bartimaeus' unseeing eyes. Go, your faith has healed you. Bartimaeus blinked and blinked again. Bright colors and shapes flashed before his eyes, vivid and breathtaking. I, my eyes, uh, I can see. As a brand new world came into focus, Bartimaeus fixed his gaze on the face before him, the deep eyes and kind smile of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> Thank you! Jesus nodded, then turned again towards Jerusalem. As the crowd began to move, Bartimaeus joined in to follow the man who had stopped for a few minutes to change his life. Jesus was very busy. He was busy teaching people and performing miracles. Crowds of people followed him wherever he went. So when a blind man named Bartimaeus cried out to Jesus, people told him to stop. Jesus doesn't have time to help. Somehow, through the noise of the crowd, Jesus heard Bartimaeus and made time to heal him. That means if we're followers of Jesus, sometimes we need to make time to help others. After all, there are a lot of people on our block who need help. There are people who need understanding. There are people who need space. But how can we help others when we're so busy all the time? Well, sometimes it means giving up what you want to do so you can do what someone else needs. There are only so many hours in the day. We should use at least some of that time showing compassion to the people around us who need it. That's the one thing to remember today. Make time to help others. You may not be able to help everyone, but if one person makes time to help another person, then pretty soon there's a chain reaction of compassion. And Pop-Tarts always help. You get a Pop-Tart, and you get a Pop-Tart, and you get a Pop-Tart, and you get a Pop-Tart. And let's not forget, you two get Pop-Tarts! See you around!